Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Nope. 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 Ah. Oh, God. Oh. Hello? What the? F Why is that bear so huge? No, thank you. Holy crap! Okay, let's go ahead and load our last save. <laughs> Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Among Trees. This, of course, is a survival crafting game that's available now. You can go ahead and buy this one for yourself if you're interested down below in the comment section. I'll leave a link. Welcome to all of you who are here for the first time, and for you longtime fans, boy, this is going to be a real treat. Thank you very much for supporting the channel by becoming a new subscriber, and thank you very much for smashing a like button if you'd like to see a full playthrough of Among Trees. That is the best way to support the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into a new game and see what Among Trees is all about. Of course, a crafting, base-building survival game, which really reminds me a lot of maybe the art style of Firewatch and also The Long Dark, but really it seems to be like uh, the Twilight hours of all time. We're going to have to survive bears and uh, hunt deer and really try to survive in this open world simulator. So without further ado, let's start a new game and see what it's all about. Oh, what is going on here? All right. Wow, this looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, so keep in mind that this is a pre-alpha, so a lot of things are missing from the game, but already we see some uh, fur planks here that we can grab, possibly for crafting or firewood. Same with some sticks. Well, it looks good so far. This is absolutely beautiful. This really reminds me a lot of The Long Dark. That's for sure. Got some mushrooms here too. Button mushrooms. Okay. And we have ourselves ruby beets. Oh, perhaps we can do some farming as well. Well, it looks like we have a small building to craft. Let's go ahead and take a look around here. Now, bears and other creatures can attack us, so we're playing in the normal mode right now. Uh, let's see. In order to repair the cabin, we're going to need six fur planks and 10 sticks. So let's go ahead and start with that. Press tab to open our backpack. So you can see we have a few inventory spaces here. And we also have the ability to wear different clothes. So that might protect us in different types of weather and possibly uh, provide uh, armor if we ever get into a fight with an animal. You never know if a rogue bunny or something is going to come around. Over on the right side we see hunger, warmth, uh, health, and perhaps sleep or energy. So perhaps we can replenish that with teas or anything like that see what we've got here so far. We've got uh, five, so just a few more. We're going to need a lot more sticks, that's for sure. But man, what I see is already beautiful. It looks to be perhaps procedurally generated. I don't know if the world's the same every time we load in. But what I'm seeing, I'm liking so far. Ah, here we go. We have some more sticks here. And let's see if we can grab some more. Beautiful. So I don't think there's ever a night time in this game, but I could be wrong. Looks like it's always, like, partially sunset. Uh, let's see if we can grab some more sticks over here. All right. Well, the music is beautiful. The landscape is absolutely gorgeous. And collecting things is really nice so far. Grab some more sticks here. wonder if there's skills or whatnot. Looks like for now we have a hot bar with a few different items that we can put down there. So far, so good. Let's grab some more sticks. We need ten in total. Ah, there's our last fur plank that we needed. Excellent. So luckily we've got that. And we're up to... Uh, seven sticks, so we'll need a few more. We might need to grab some of these for firewood and for other building, but uh, of course we can build a beautiful home in this game uh, where we can stock it all full of plants and different things that we can eventually uh, start eating as well, like tomatoes and things like that. Here we seemingly have maybe some wheat that we'll be able to gather later, perhaps. Let's walk over this way, and let's see what else we've got around here. Ooh, I hear something. Sounded like a little rabbit or something scurrying away. Okay, let's go back this way to the cabin. Luckily, it marks it for us, so we can easily find our way back. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, I can actually hear sticks and such breaking under our feet as we're going. Ah, here's some more here. So we are at 10 out of 10. Excellent. So now let's go back to the cabin. See if there's anything else we can pick for, like, tea or maybe for healing. We may as well grab the rest of these mushrooms here. Another stick there. Perfect. Always going to need more of those. Okay, let's build the cabin and see what we've got here. 7 out of 6 and 11 out of 10. Let's go ahead and build. Features unlocked. Sleep, save, and storage. New extensions, cooking room, crafting room, and a storage attic. Oh, got it. Oh, look at that. 
All right, we have ourselves a cabin. Beautiful. Well, that was relatively quick. We're going to need food soon, though. So we better be mindful of that. Doesn't look like we can close the door. Oh, it closes automatically when we come inside. That's nice. Crafting room. We'll need more fur planks, steel wires, and stump moss to make that. Save progress here. May as well do that just in case. And let's see. A storage box. Uh, well, we could probably keep most of this stuff on us. Or wait until nighttime there at the bed. Well, let's go ahead and actually just drop all this stuff in here. So we need to go out and gather more stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have an axe or anything at the moment. We won't be able to make one until we make a crafting room. Or a storage attic. So we got to find a lot more of those things. Maybe we can find some tools or something out in the world. Love that that door closes automatically. That's so cool. I love that. You don't have to turn around every time and do it. Well, this is absolutely stunningly gorgeous, I must say. I really like this art style. And it's beautiful that it's constantly, like, uh, you know, evening. But it could be dark because we're in the forest as well, and all the trees are kind of... Oh, there goes a little rabbit. Did you see it? Little bunny ears there. Uh, maybe we can hunt him for food. Probably need a bow and arrow or something to fling at him. He's awfully fast. Oops, see some more sticks down here. Or no, perhaps something else. A berry bush? Ah, very important. Black mulberries. Hopefully we can eat those. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, we have a gorgeous lake down here. Look at this. Beautiful. I wonder if there's beavers down here that'll dam everything up. Oh, there went a bird. That's cool. Wow, this is amazing. Absolutely breathtaking down here. Oh, there's a tree stump over there. Can we do anything with this? Maybe some more sticks we can gather? Nope. Well, we'll keep looking for fur planks and sticks. It's really our only choice at the moment. Grab some more uh, mushrooms. Maybe we can make something out of that. We might be able to eat those raw. Oh, this is amazing. This is so beautiful. That's incredible. A gorgeous little waterfall right near our house. I wonder if we can have multiple homes. Let's try to cross here. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm, I'm blown away by that. We'll have to remember, too, by the way, that uh, we'll have to go back that way. Oh, the cabin is constantly marked, so that's good. And it looks like the daytime marker is in the upper right corner, so there is some sort of a day-night cycle. Though this is how daytime looks, which kind of always seems to be like uh, late evening. Well, that aside, it looks beautiful, and I love it. Uh, yellow ash leaves. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look what else we've got around here. So maybe there's different biomes to the forest that have different types of uh, materials available for us. But we will constantly be among trees. In among trees. It makes sense. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? That sounds like bees. I can hear like a beehive or something nearby. Let's investigate. Let's go over this way. I heard what sounded like a... Oh, yep. Yeah. You hear it? Uh-oh. Is there a cave down there? Oh, boy, that's really loud. It's around here somewhere. Well, we'll investigate in a moment. Let's grab some more supplies. Mulberries for sure, as we're getting a little hungry. More ruby beets. Now, eventually, I think we can start cooking and possibly farming, too, so it might be a good idea to grab as much stuff as we can on day one. So that way we can continue to gather resources. And moving from plant to plant is a good idea. Now if we see a bear, that's going to be very exciting. A grisly situation, though, and I may have to pause the game. Ooh. Oh, a branch like fell, but... Huh. Oh, we're starving right now. No kidding. Now, it doesn't seem to be affecting our health just yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can eat something. Uh, so it says, these large berries are perfect mix of sweet and tart. You can eat them raw, but they're more nutritio nutritious when cooked. And probably the same with this as well. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a little bit more uh, beneficial to us cooked. Well, let's just eat a few of those and put us back to where we were at the start. Meanwhile, oh, there's lots of firewood here. Oh, it looks like somebody's camp. You found jute rope and nails. Oh, I don't want to leave that. I want to take that. There we go. Wow. Looks like we found a good spot. There's actually uh, crates and stuff here. We found like an old camp of some sort. Well, this was a good find. Uh, Lockpick required. Ooh, we're going to have to mark this. 
I wonder if we get a map. The sun is going down, so it might be a good idea to return to base. There could be wolves or something. Steel wire and old rags. Some more wire for us. More wire here. Steel rope. Looks like we can cut this with an axe. Oh, we need to remember to come back here. So across the river and slightly to the right is some very important uh, camp zones for us. And can we search this again? Turn up seeds and old rags again, so that might be for bandages. Wait a minute, I see a tower here. Oh. Well, that's absolutely wrecked. Big storm must have come through and destroyed it. Let's gather some more materials. We've certainly found a treasure trove here. But we'll need to get back to camp shortly. All right, we'll have to remember this is here. I see a few more things around, but we will be coming back, so if I miss anything, we'll grab it on the second run. Let's start heading back. It is getting dark. I saw one more thing. A steel pipe. Inventory full. Uh, let's see. You can eat them raw. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish that off, and we'll take the pipe back. All right, let's head back to camp. Hopefully we don't encounter any troublemakers. Luckily, this camp here is marked by the large tower. So we'll just need to keep our eyes up when we work that way. So if we can find a, if we can find a compass, or if we can craft one, we'll be able to find our way there. Look at how beautiful this is. My God, that's gorgeous. That's breathtaking. Look at that. Oh, uh, there's a cave here, I think, but we'll have to uh, work our way around this side. Yep, I can hear the uh, bees now. I don't want to hurt myself, so let's just go down the easy way. And is there a cave here? Maybe there's... Yeah, I can hear a beehive, but it doesn't look like there's any way in there. So let's return to base. So we'll go by the waterfall again. Gorgeous. So far, we found a beautiful waterfall. We found a base, and we've already got our house up and running. So that's go that's just one of the most gorgeous things I've seen. Chance of poison, 25% if we eat those. Maybe we should discard that for more mulberries. Wow. That's just absolutely stunning. Oh, looks like there is moss here. I must have missed it before. Stump moss is something we'll need. Let's go ahead and eat that and grab that stump moss. That'll be for one of the crafting rooms, though that was the only moss that I saw so far. We'll go out and explore a little bit more tomorrow morning. So let's go home and store some of our stuff and <laughs> look at all those rabbits. Now, I wonder if we can set traps for them. We might be able to do that. Here's another mulberry bush. Nails. Anything else I can throw away. Uh, used for insulation when building a cabin extension. Ah, those are seem seemingly really important. Let's go ahead and discard the sticks. Those will be pretty common. And if we sleep, we might need more food. So it's probably a good idea to grab way more food than we need. I guess you can never have enough food. We'll grab some more yellow ash leaves later. And it looks like sticks might randomly spawn. Let's head back to base right now. The bunnies actually have a green shine to them. wonder if that's to make them easier to f spot. All right, we are back at the cabin. Let's go inside. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's drop off all the stuff that we found. These are uh, fur thingies. Okay, I think the only thing I really want to keep on me is food. And I wonder how we'll expand this thing. Maybe it has to be in storage. Let's see how that works. Oh, it'll need to be in our hand. Well, regardless, we need a lot more fur planks. Luckily, we did find nails. And stump moss, we just need to find one more and a lot more fur planks. Now, what does this say? Note items. Let's go ahead and put that. Ah, excellent. So we can actually put it as our uh, our quest. Well, we still know we need much more. So let's take a little nap now till daytime. Hopefully no bears attack. That would just be uh, just a horrible situation. It would be... Uh, Really bad. Day two, we've survived a day. Congratulations, Raptor. Why, thank you. Excellent. All right, let's go out and explore the world again with an empty inventory. I'll just take the beets because we seemingly are a little hungry. But if we find more mulberries, we'll get them. So we do have, I think, enough steel wire. We just need to find some more stump moss and fur planks. But we are seemingly in possession of some of them at home. Okay, let's grab some more of these. Oh, we actually can't... Um, be, we can't eat those. So we'll actually have to cook those, and we might need a crafting room up for that. So let's look around for some more food. Might be a good idea to sprint. And we'll have to grab some more sticks, too. 
Well, Reddit. Ah, another ruby beat here. Might be able to farm those later, so I'm hoping that could be a thing we can do. And it might be a good idea to grab some more of these ash leaves. And the mushrooms, too. Chance of poison, though, so we don't want to do that. I hear something thumping. Alright. Well, luckily we don't have to drink. It seems to just be food in this game so far. Crouch. Oh, there's dangerous animals? Uh-oh. Hold on. There's something dangerous nearby. What is it? What's so dangerous? Uh-oh. I can... It's getting closer, whatever it is. There's a little vision thing up at the top. I think we're hidden. From whatever it is. What is it? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Nope. 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 Hello? What the f Why is that bear so huge? No, thank you. Holy crap! Okay, let's go ahead and load our last save. <laughs> oh, that's uh no good. Oh boy, that was uh that was rough. Let's let's start day two again all over. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Where are we? Is it day two? Oh boy, that was wow. That was that scared the heck out of me. Um, where are we? Oh, we have nothing in the storage box anymore. Okay, we'll have to go across to uh, the thing there. Oh, I guess we go when we saved. I should have did that at the start. So let's go back to the tower and grab our stuff and see what else we can find. That that was so oh boy. That's that scared me. That I was scared. I was very scared. Alright, so note to self, it's a good idea to save every morning. That might be a good thing to auto-save, too. But anyway, okay, so now we need to add an expansion to our uh, base, which means that we just need a lot more of uh, the planks this time. So let's go out and see if we can find some more uh, fur planks. Now, the last time uh, we went over there, there was a scary uh, big O bear over there. That is, That bear is like gargantuan. The biggest bear I've ever seen. So we need to avoid that. Maybe we can hunt it in the future if we get a bow and arrow or something. Also, fishing might be a good idat So we might be able to craft some of that stuff. First, we got to get the crafting station up, though, if we're going to make anything. Oh, another watchtower here. Perfect. This one's actually just right behind the house. Excellent. Wow, we lucked out on that one. Okay, let's grab nails and things like that. Okay, we've got ourselves more steel wire, more fur planks. I had to go a lot further for the other one. We found about six planks so far. I think we need 20-something for this one. So let's see what else we got in these piles. Oh, these are really valuable. Where did that one rope go? There it is. Yeah, look at how close we are to the house. It's just over there. So note to self, look for watchtowers, and then we can come back later to these areas to possibly use a hatchet on those uh, thingies, and we should be fine. On the crates, and maybe we can open them up somehow? Looks like all of these are requiring a lockpick. So none of these are actually open. But we may as well grab all the stuff that's laying around. Okay, we need a snack, too. What do we got? Uh, some mushrooms. Okay, that's good. None of them are hurtful, so that's good. There's got to be more stuff around here somewhere. Let's look around. There's another plank there. And two more over there. So that brings us up to... Let's see, I think six in the inventory, maybe? Let's see. Uh, we're at seven. Okay, so we've got seven. And I think we've got seven inside the... Uh, thing, but we need 28, so we gotta explore a lot longer. More steel pipes. Good. Wow, this is a very profitable day, too. Okay, I don't see anything else around. Let's look for towers. Okay, let's go back and check the site a little bit more. Anything else around? Okay, I see a rabbit. That's about it. 
He must be looking for uh, tricks, I guess. Interestingly enough, those are actually for kids, if you didn't know. Ooh, what are these? Button mushrooms? I think these are the ones we can eat. So, so long as we keep finding uh, blackberries, black mulberries, and mushrooms, we should be fine for a while. I wonder if we'll find the, uh, like, the uh, master sword out here or something. Let's see. I wonder if we can get on that rock and use it to look around. Can't really... Oh, jumping actually takes a little bit of our energy, so let's stay on the ground. Hmm, some more sticks here. Those will always be useful. So even if I build the crafting room, we're still going to need to be able to produce items with it, so having more than enough will be a good thing. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Let's take a look at the old inventory again. Okay, let's eat some more stuff. I think these might be the poisonous ones. Nope, we're good. Excellent. Lots of extra energy, lots of extra food. Good. Okay, let's see what's over this way. I hope we can find another camp or something along those lines that has a lot of items. That seems to be the only way we've been profitable so far. I would eat those rubies, but let's save those for now. Because we'll need to cook them. Not seeing any, like, fur branches laying around. Fur planks. Looks like we've been only able to find those from actual downed buildings. So watchtowers and cabins and such. Maybe we can find other cabins. This, again, is our first playthrough, so we have much to learn. And I can't wait to do a full series on this one, because I'm just absolutely loving it. So far, it seems like a very uh, challenging survival game. Though you can turn it on Zen mode to turn off the animals, but that makes it... Uh, a little more enjoyable to have bears chasing after you. You can tell by my uh, shrieks that I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else do we have up here? Something up at the top of this hill. Huh, some more stumps, so we might find some more moss. Nope. Hopefully we don't come up on a bear cave. What's up here? The edge of the map, perhaps? Okay, let's go down this way. See what else we can find. A lot of exploration. A lot of things to find. The sun is just coming up now. So we got a full day ahead of us to find materials to build with. Sticks, luckily, are easy to find. Though they're not plentiful. All right, let's go ahead and slow down with our running a little bit. Grab some more mushrooms. All right, let's go ahead and snack. There we go. Okay. What if there's anything inside these stumps? No. Nope. Might be able to hunt birds. They seem to be quite plentiful, too. Luckily, we're always knowing where the cabin is. And this is a new area for us as well. Just want to look out for bears now. We're quite far away from the cabin. And they can greatly outrun us. Like, instantaneously. We've got to find some more down towers. I haven't been able to see any yet. Oh, there might be a cave here. Oh, wait a minute. Well, kind of a cave. Well, we're not allowed to go inside, I guess. It's just a little little hole in the rocks. All right, let's follow along this way. More beets, but we'll hold off on those. Save room for food and construction equipment. Okay, we need to find another tower. That's got to be our other goal. And we'll need to go back to Bear Town, I guess, in order to find uh, some more supplies. We found two towers so far, so we're going to need to find a third one if we're going to get the furs we need to build that crafting room. Now, the crafting system remains to be seen, but I think we just found it. We found another tower. I don't think this is the one we've seen from the cabin. It could be... But let's see. Oh, there's actually two of them here. Oh, this is great. 
Okay, so there's definitely going to be a lot of materials here. With two towers spawning right next to each other. So this is where we go to find materials. And this is awesome. Okay, old rags. Oh, no space in the inventory. Definitely need more fur planks, though. Okay, let's grab those first. And uh, maybe some more rope. Okay, we need more planks, though. I don't think any of these boxes are just open, which is unfortunate. Two down towers, though. There's got to be lots of... Actually, there's kind of a building here. Not just a down tower, but like a large building. Oh, what is this? A blueprint! Lockpick blueprint found! Oh, beautiful! Alright, so the first thing we can make from our crafting menu is a lockpick, so we can start opening up these boxes the moment we have a crafting room. Now it's even more important to uh, basically find out what we're, what we're after. Let's uh, discard some... St no, I don't want to discard sticks. Oh, what do we... Oh, let's eat. There we go. Now we have a little bit more room. We need more planks, though. This is big! This is a huge discovery for us. We can now build our crafting room and then come back to these areas with a lockpick and gain even more resources and maybe even come back with an axe in order to open up those crates. Maybe they'll provide more wood or maybe they'll provide materials inside the crate, so we'll have to see. I want to make sure we have more than enough uh, wood here and also sticks. We'll have to avoid bears on the way home. And we'll be coming back here, so if I leave anything behind, we will come back. How many uh, planks do we have now? Twelve. We need more, though. Turn up seeds there. There's got to be some more planks around. Another steel pipe. I don't see any more planks, but we certainly need to look around for more. I think we may have gotten them all. But again, we're coming back to all of these towers. We need to come back to these. Okay, we can follow the river back to the house. And this river leads down to that waterfall that goes down to the river, or to the lake. So let's continue to follow this way. Ah, it's another waterfall. Ah, beautiful. work our way down carefully. Mm, looks like there might not be a way down here. Unless I can go into the water. Oh! Invisible wall seems to be blocking me from going to the waterfall. Now well, maybe we'll be able to slide down carefully. Oop. Okay, I didn't take any damage, I think, so we're good. Okay, anything else we can eat? Okay, I could have eaten those and made some more inventory space, but again, we're coming back, so that's fine. Just be on the lookout for more planks. So the other side has the bear, so we're going to have to do combat with the bear on the other side of the cabin. Just on the opposite side of where we're looking. Oh, some more sticks. I like how it takes a long time to start crafting in this game. First, we got to go out and find stuff. So that makes sense. This is beautiful. Okay. Home again. Let's see what we got in the inventory. Let's save, too. Okay, process. Saving process complete. We've got... Let's see. Tw how many... Do we have now? We need 20... Well, we have 19 right now. Let's see what we can uh, convert. Oh, I forgot to activate the quest, too. Uh, crafting room. Oh, we only need 12 fur planks for that. Perfect. Then we have stuff to actually craft with. So let's grab some moss out of here. We actually have the moss. Let's make that crafting room. Ready? Yeah! Crafting room. Features unlocked. Craft tools, resources, and objects. Got it. All right, now we can make a... Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. How does the cabin look from the outside? Oh, it added a little shack to the side. This is beautiful, guys. Absolutely amazing. Oh, this is the most gorgeous crafting game I think I've ever seen. Okay, what can we make for tools? 
A woodsman's axe. We need bolts for that. We might have that. A lockpick. Ah, we definitely have enough for that. I, I definitely need that. Excellent. Now let's see what other materials we need for the lockpick. Let me grab the rest. Of the, I mean, the uh, axe is what we want next. Let's grab all these materials. Because I don't know what I'll need. Well, do we have more storage in here? It'd be nice if there was another storage box. So now let's make an axe. And we need another bolt for that. Uh, there's also a compass we can make. Perfect. So we need more bolts. Med kit we can make out of old rags. Might be a good idea to craft one of those. Cool. Leave that on the table, I guess. Alright, let's craft some more stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's leave those. We don't have any more bolts. We have nails. So I gotta go find some more bolts. That could be in those boxes. So let's see what else we can craft in the meantime. So we might be able to actually find some of this stuff inside the... Uh, oh, we can actually craft bolts. Perfect. Craft one of those then. We can make bolts from the steel pipes. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Reinforced plank. A modified stronger wood plank. Interesting. That must be needed for some crafting items. Excellent. Now we have an axe. And actually a weapon now that we can defend ourselves with. So let's see what else we can make. It looks like uh, pickaxes, compasses, tents. We can make a map now uh, with a uh, old rag and mulberry. Ooh, we got to get some more of those then. We definitely need some more of that stuff. Decorations too. I think the next thing I want to make is something to cook with a uh, fire or something like that. Uh, we can make nails from steel wire and stuff from steel pipes. So what's the next thing we should make? Um, some of these actually are locked, I suppose, until we get the uh, yeah until we get the recipe. We have to unlock it by finding the blueprints, I suppose. And some of those could be inside the um, boxes themselves, inside those crates we saw around here. Let's eat one of those again. Okay, let's put sticks away. Don't need those. We'll leave all the crafting items here. And we'll leave the food in there. There we go. I'll keep the med kit, food, fur thingies we can leave behind, and one of these. Okay, so now this should be everything we need to go out and explore. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a nap. Oh man, this is really cool. Now that we've started crafting, this is just epic. I really like it. Day three. Okay, so now on day three, we have ourselves an axe and a couple of other uh, weapon items to go out and lockpick. Let's go to those crates behind the house. And let's have ourselves some fun. Have ourselves some breakfast. There we go. Oh, and we should probably put these items down here, maybe. Looks like it automatically puts all this stuff down here. Let's grab some more sticks for crafting. Let's go find the uh, tower behind the house. So it's back this way. Let's see if we're going the right way. Yeah, should be up here. Now, I hope the lockpick isn't like a one-time use thing. We'll see. I wonder if that bear moves around. I hope not. Let's find out what's inside these crates. I wonder if we can use it on these. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't look like we can use it on that. Let's check out this crate. Use lockpick. Old rags, nails, and steel wire. Ah, so the lockpick is reusable. Good. More steel wire inside the crates. That scared me. Did you get scared by that? Holy crap, that was scary. Just like turns into just an explosion. Oh, this is perfect. So it looks like there's more valuables here. Oh, this is wonderful. We found so much stuff. Let's just bring everything back to camp. Did we use the lockpick here? Looks like we did. Can't remember what we used and what we haven't used yet. Okay, it looks like that's everything. So we know there's another site just over there. Way far in that direction. Too bad the uh, crates don't give us any wood for breaking them. Let's head back to the house and drop this off and save. And then we'll make our way to the other side where the two towers were. There was a lot of boxes over there and also to the other side of the river. That actually might be the next closest area. Luckily, that's right up here. We got lucky finding that. All right, back home we go. Turn in our resources. Maybe we can build some of the other stuff. Let's see if we can build the other buildings now. The other things we can build is the cooking room. So we might be able to construct that shortly. Or the storage attic. 
I think we probably want a cooking room first, so let's see. Let's mark that. Oh, actually, that requires driftwood times three, so we might have to go down to the lake to find that. Otherwise, we have the fur planks for sure. We have the fur for sure. Okay, we can make another uh, med kit. Oh, we're out of storage again. All these seeds, did these not stack? That's weird. Ah, oh, it looks like they don't stack. Hmm. Okay, so we're definitely going to need a storage attic then. Now, is that easy to build? Nails times four. Planks times 28. Wow. Huh. Nails times four. There's got to be a different way to get wood then. Uh, let's see if we can make wood from something else. Let me see if we can uh, chop down a tree. Hmm. Maybe a smaller fir tree? No, it doesn't look like we can actually... Oh, there we go. Yeah! Timber! Woo! Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, that's a good way to find all the fur planks. Unfortunately, it went through the rock. So there's probably a few that we missed, but let's cut this next one down. Oh, looks like it's got to be a specific tree. Yeah, that's right, nerd. Cut it down towards the house. There we go. Alright, that's going to be a good way to get all the planks we need. Oh, looks like you only get three from each tree. Well, we'll grab the sticks too then. Okay, there we go. And we'll come back if we need more stuff. It's literally in front of the house. Okay. So let's see. So we have no driftwood for the cooking room, so let's go ahead and remove that and assign it to the storage attic. We might be able to assign that one. Okay, we need nails times four, which we can make out of the steel wire. Um, so what do we have for driftwood so or fir wood so far? We've got 13. And we've got... Uh, not too bad we can't start on the construction to clear some of our inventory. Uh, we just need more fir planks, so that'll be the next thing we build. So let's get that done. I'll go cut some trees down and uh, see if we can get all the wood that we need. Do I have any inventory space? Probably put the seeds back. And I'll eat those mushrooms, because we need a little bit of energy. Perfect. All right, let's go cut some things down. And I will turn in all the wood and make our storage attic. All right, this should be our last tree. I think each tree gives us three every time, so that's good. Tree from the three. I mean, three from the tree. Man, Smokey the Bear is going to be furious with me. Okay, we'll pick up some of these sticks, too. They're kind of hard to come by. Just finding them on their own. Okay, that should be fine. Let's head back to the cabin. You can see I've cut down a few trees around here. And we should be able to build our storage attic, which finally we can get rid of some of the stuff in our inventory. Let's go ahead and save before we do. Oh, there we go. And boom. Feature unlocked. You got four extra storage boxes. New extension, a sewing room. Ah, now we can make a, uh, advanced uh, clothes and stuff like that. Beautiful. Here's the four boxes. Nice. Oh, good. We can get more organized this way. So I'll just drop everything in here for now. Aside from, like, food and our lockpick and our med kit. Excellent. All right, let's take a look at the outside of the house and see what it all looks like. Is there anything I can snack on first? Uh, we do have some mushrooms, I suppose. I think those... Are those the poisonous ones? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, so much for that. We'll work on a cooking room next. We'll have to go find driftwood. All right, here's what the cabin looks like now. Wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. We got our axe and everything. That is beautiful. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode of, of Among Trees. If you want to get it again, use that link down below in the comment section or the code Raptoria at checkout if you want to support a creator. And uh, I want to take a look at this game again. So if you want to see more, you guys know what to do. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you all next time. You guys are amazing. So I hope to see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.